this video is for class 9 physics and this is the part 3 of the video in which we were doing the numerical problems from exercise 5a in the previous video we have completed till number 6 in this video we are solving from number 7 a piece of brass weighs 175 gram force in air and 150 gram force when fully immersed in water so with the help of these two values we can calculate the upthrust now the density of water is given as 1 gram per centimeter cube so they are asking us what is the volume of brass what is the volume of brass the so volume of brass is question mark now why does the brass piece weigh less in water it is because of the upthrust now to calculate the volume we can use the formula fb dash as it is fully immersed right is equal to v rho lg so value of rho l is given g we do not need it if you want to calculate in the kgf or gf then we are supposed to find the value of this of thrust let us go to its solution coming to the solution of number sorry 7 now we can write the given things first which which are number 7 weight of brass in air weight of brass in air is equal to 175 gram force weight of brass in water is equal to 150 gram force now with the help of these two values we can calculate the upthrust but before that the density of the liquid is also given which is 1.0 gram per centimeter cube right now let us calculate the upthrust the upthrust will be equal to weight of brass in air minus weight of brass in water now that will be equal to 175 gram force minus 150 gram force which will be equal to 25 gram force right now we got the value of the upthrust with the help of this upthrust now we can calculate the volume so using the formula of upthrust now which is fb dash equal to v rho lg right and then putting the values which is 25 uh, gram force sorry 25 gram force 25 gram force is equal to volume i do not know multiplied by 1 gram per centimeter cube multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity further solving it we shall get v equals to sorry v equals to 25 gram force upon uh, 1 gram per centimeter cube multiplied by g hence uh, after calculating we shall get 25 centimeter cube right because this is gram force here and this is acceleration due to gravity so now as you got the value as 25 centimeter cube so the volume of the brass okay is 25 centimeter cube i hope you have understood number 7 we can go to number 8 now coming to question number 8 a uh, metal cube of is 5 centimeter right 
so we have a cube right we have a cube so the cubes is is 5 centimeter so all the sides will be equal to 5 centimeter right sorry it will be 5 centimeter now and the density of that cube is 9 gram per centimeter cube is suspended by a thread so that as to be completely immersed in a liquid of density 1.2 gram per centimeter cube find the tension in the thread so the tension is equal to the apparent weight of the cube in the liquid so let us try to understand the question first now there is a cube right is a small cube which is immersed right in a liquid so let this be the container and it is immersed in the liquid fully immersed okay now this cube is held by a thread or a string right now because of the weight in the thread sorry because in the weight of the cube the thread will experience a tension t as the weight acts downwards but the tension will act upwards now they are asking us what will be the tension now this tension should be equal to the weight of cube in the liquid right the tension should be equal to the weight of the cube in the liquid that means the apparent weight of the cube that means the apparent weight of the cube right so I hope you have understood the situation. Okay, that means uh, I need to find the apparent weight of the cube. Once I calculate the apparent weight of the cube, my answer follows. Okay, let us try to solve this. Let us write the things which is given to us. Okay, from question number eight. So we're doing question number eight, right? And side of the cube side of the cube sorry side of the cube is equal to 5 centimeter so the volume will be therefore the volume the volume of cube shall be equal to 5 centimeter multiplied by 5 centimeter multiplied by 5 centimeter right so after multiplication we shall get 125 centimeter cube right 125 centimeter cube now as the density given to us of the solid is 9 gram per centimeter cube right here we are supposed to find the apparent weight and the density of the liquid is also given to us as 1.2 gram per centimeter cube I hope you people have understood till here now uh, I am supposed to find the weight in air. Let us try to find the weight in air. Now, weight in air will be equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity. Now, 
to find the mass we can write volume into density of the solid multiplied by acceleration due to gravity so then i can write it as 125 centimeter cube multiplied by 9 gram per centimeter cube multiplied by g now the centimeter cube the centimeter cube gets cancelled after multiplication we shall get 9 5 is a 45 4 carry over 9 to the 18 19 20 21 22 2 carry over 9 1 9 10 11 so we're getting 1 1 2 5 gram force right we shall get 1 1 2 5 gram force so this is the weight in air now the up thrust on the object should be also equals to v rho l this time and g so the value of v is 125 as it is completely immersed multiplied by density of the liquid is 1.2 gram per centimeter cube and then multiplied by g which is acceleration due to gravity so after the multiplication okay after the multiplication we are getting it as so let us solve this 10 okay so 5 2 times and 5 5 times 5 2 times 2 1 time 2 6 time so 6 5 is a 30 3 carry over 6 2 is a 12 13 14 50 so we're getting 150 gram force right 150 gram force so after calculating till here okay i think we can calculate its apparent weight now the apparent weight will be weight is equal to weight in air air minus of thrust okay so that can also be written as okay the previous value which is 1125 gram force minus 150 gram force so we shall get the answer as 975 gram force right 975 gram force so this is the apparent weight since tension is equal to of sorry since tension is equal to apparent weight since tension is equal to apparent weight so that is equal to 975 gram force but this answer might not be matching with your book's answer so i can convert this uh, gram force into newton right so as you all know uh, one gram force should be equal to one upon 100 newton so therefore 975 gram force will be equal to 9.5 Seven five Newton. I hope you understood number eight. Coming to the next question, which is question number nine. A block of wood is floating on water uh, with its uh, dimensions uh, fifty centimeter multiplied by fifty centimeter multiplied by fifty centimeter inside water. Calculate the buoyant force acting on the block. Okay, we are supposed to find the up thrust acting on the block. 
so taking g equals to 9.8 newton per kg okay let us try to calculate the answer So, writing question number 9 given things to us question number 9 volume of wooden block volume of wooden block will be equal to 50 centimeter multiplied by 50 centimeter multiplied by 50 centimeter that is length into breadth into height. So, after the multiplication we shall get 125 0 0 0 right 3 zeros centimeter cube. Now, if I, if I want to find the answer in Newton then this has to be converted into the SI unit. So, converting this into the SI unit I am supposed to divide it by 10 lakh 1 2 3 4 5 6 zeros and it becomes meter cube right. Now, the other thing which is given to us is the density of the liquid which is uh, 1000 kilogram per meter cube and the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 Newton per kilogram. Okay. Now, using the formula for up thrust which is F B dash is equal to V rho L G we can calculate the up thrust. So, let us calculate the up thrust. So, putting the values of V rho G F B dash will be equal to 125 followed by 3 zeros upon 10 lakh that is 6 zeros here right that is V meter cube multiplied by rho which is the density of water which is 1000 kilogram per meter cube multiplied by 9.8 meter per second square right. I hope this uh, square is clear. Now, for the solving it 3 0 gets cancelled 3 0 gets cancelled here again 3 0 gets cancelled 3 0 gets cancelled. Now, removing the decimal point and then writing 10 here. So, after the calculation we shall get F B dash equals to 1, 2, 2, 5 Newton. So, this is our answer number 9. Going to the last uh, question from this section that is number 10. Question number 10 reads as a body of mass 3.5 kg displaces 1000 centimeter cube of water displaces 1000 centimeter cube of water when fully immersed inside it when fully immersed inside it calculate the volume of body the up thrust on the body and the apparent weight of body in water the apparent weight of body in water ok let us try to solve this ok this must be easy ok. So, coming to the solution of number 10 right. So, mass of the body is given right which is equal to 3.5 kg right and the weight becomes therefore, the weight of the body becomes weight of the body will be equal to 3.5 kgf. I hope you understood the transition here. Now, volume of water displaced, 
volume of water displaced. Shall be equal to thousand meter cube, right? Uh, sorry, centimeter cube. Shall be equal to thousand centimeter cube. Now, number one, since volume of the body should be equal to volume of the water displaced. volume of the body should be equal to the volume of the water displaced because it is fully immersed because it is fully immersed. So, the first answer will be 1000 centimeter cube. Right, I hope you understood how to do number 1. Let us go to the next number which is number 2. In number 2, 10 2, uh, we are supposed to find the up thrust that is V rho L g. Putting the values of V rho L g, V is value is thousand since it is centimeter cube I am converting it into the meter cube right sorry how many zeros are there 3 4 5 and 6 meter cube multiplied by uh, the density which is thousand kilogram per meter cube right multiplied by g which is acceleration due to gravity. So, let us cancel these zeros here. So, after cancelling these zeros, I am getting 1 kgf is my answer. Now, going to the last part which is number 3 and in number 3, I am supposed to find the apparent weight. Right? And as you all know, the apparent weight of the object should be equal to weight in air minus of thrust. So, weight in air right, minus of thrust. Now, putting the values of weight in air and of thrust, weight in air was 3.5 kgf, of thrust is 1 kgf, hence my answer will be 2.5 kgf. Okay. So, I hope you have understood number 10 also. This is all for this video. Thank you so much.